Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So you guys might remember when Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, when they went live uh, a week or a couple days before the fight, and they placed a bet. Javante, he challenged Ryan Garcia to bet his purse that he would win the fight. In that same conversation, Javante Tank Davis, he told Ryan Garcia basically that he knows Ryan Garcia got stopped in sparring, training for this fight. Of course, Ryan Garcia denied it, but now we find out that it was true, that Ryan Garcia did get hurt. Ryan Garcia confirmed it, and Ryan Garcia's sparring partner, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name, but he's a Mongolian fighter, 5-0. He confirmed that he hurt Ryan Garcia bad in sparring. He actually apologized to Ryan Garcia. Hey, King Ryan, in sparring, I injured you with the body shot. Now you lost to tank. I am sorry. Are you okay? And Ryan Garcia, he responds by basically confirming that he was hurt in sparring bad by the sparring partner. He says this, he says, actually sad, I had a mole in my camp. Like what the F, that's crazy. But thank God it's brought to light now. Listen, there's no doubt about it. Things definitely happen behind closed doors, especially when it comes to training camps. If this sparring partner is apologizing for hurting Ryan Garcia to the body, that means that he really did stop him. Because if they were just sparring and let's say Ryan Garcia just backed up and showed signs that he felt the body shot, there would be no need for this sparring partner to come out and be apologizing. That's normal to get caught with a good shot every once in a while in sparring. But it's rare that fighters on the level of even a Ryan Garcia get stopped in sparring. But at the end of the day, it is just sparring. That's where you perfect your craft. Ryan Garcia, he still looked good in this fight for as long as it lasted. And we already knew that this was gonna happen to Ryan Garcia regardless if he got stopped in sparring or not. We heard the stories of Javante Tank Davis stopping all of his sparring partners and a lot of them he was stopping with body shots ryan was talking about how surprised he was that this information got leaked but information like this gets leaked all the time this is how we heard about errol spence stopping adrian broner or how good errol spence did in sparring with floyd mayweather and so on and so forth this is a part of the game unless you're sparring with your family member or something like that anytime a sparring partner hurts you and you have a name information like that is going to most likely get leaked so the best thing you could do as a fighter to avoid it from getting leaked is not let your sparring partners stop you in sparring that's all i got for now guys i'm on to the next one all right now check this out guys if you're looking to repair eczema scars burns and bruises dark spots and blemishes the fever blisters diabetic ulcers this right here is the perfect product for you guys it's called elo de key face and body oil athletes and top ranking boxers they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain so get yours today go to elodekey.com like them on facebook and follow them on instagram let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.